Welcome to your October reading. Even if this is coming out pretty late, this is going to show you what will happen from the day that you watch this and a month ahead. So we are going to look into each sign. So we are starting out with Taurus. So Taurus, when I tapped into your energy, one thing that I heard was that someone who's watching is not listening to their guides not listening to what you're being guided to not listening to your own guidance in a way you have a feeling about something someone but for some reason you choose to ignore the feeling or do the opposite hmm if it's not you, it could be someone you're dealing with, obviously. But I also feel that you're being guided to follow your own path in a situation. Yeah. Which for someone out there might mean that you need to stop listening to someone who is giving bad advice. Or stop following someone else's path. That might, or that is definitely not yours. But with that being said, let's see what we can get. Well, the Hierophant reversed, Four of Swords, and Eight of Wands. Mm. At the back, I do see the Two of Wands. So again, be guided to follow your own path, but also now that the Hierophant is your own card and it's reversed, there is definitely a block here. Something you're not listening to. Definitely a confirmation of what we just spoke about. Think, I heard. Think about the consequences and think about what this could mean for you. Three, three, three. <clears throat> being guided into something completely new there's definitely a very important message that's coming your way this next month ahead that will show you where to go what path to follow but I do have this feeling of not wanting to make this decision for some reason or being afraid of the consequences or if you guys don't want to leave a relationship or work, something that's toxic, a place. There could be divorce, obviously, here. The hero fan being reversed. But it's time. And whatever message is coming your way is a message of moving forward. So let's see what else we can get for you. You're following your own advice and you're making a decision for your future. But I feel for a lot of you guys, it's without someone. So there might be a breakup for some of you guys. Definitely more options. And I also feel like you have a family who actually has told you that... You need to think things through. Going in another direction. Someone has been very caring around you. And you've been enjoying that. There's something you really enjoyed that you forgot about. And it makes you realize what you actually want, where you're going, what you're missing. If it's because that you've been hanging out with a friend or family, if you're living far away from family, you might have realized that you want to live closer by them. Or maybe if you have been out traveling, you realize that you miss home, whatever home is for you. But there's someone that I feel will help you. And it's definitely someone who is reaching out. It could be you reaching out to someone from the past, but it could also be someone from the past reaching out 
to you. Because there's something that's not like done already, like you didn't finish something. Kind of this idea of having unfinished business somewhere. If it's someone or if it's you who feel like you have unfinished business somewhere or with someone. So there's a missing piece that is a very important puzzle piece for you this next month ahead. It will give you way more decisions and op op yeah, it will give you way more options because I do feel like you're refusing to look at what's real in a way. And once again, if it's not you, it's someone who is refusing. It could be you who is actually reaching out to someone being like, hey, I can see that you are not happy, like something is missing. We have August, so... Maybe this started in August, where you're realizing that, hey, I miss home or I miss stability. Maybe you don't even realize what it is that you are missing. We have dark woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexions or hair. Is it someone in your life or is it you? Then we have cloud. Temporary pro problems. But there is a solution, but I do feel that that is something you have to look closer at. For some of you guys, there might even be a new job or a career. And I have this feeling that a lot of you guys are actually going back to something that you love, that you miss. If it is a job or a place or a person. But I do feel like you're reminiscing and thinking a lot about the past and family, friends. Yeah, it could be someone who passed over who is guiding you to contact someone or to go back to something or some where. Also pay attention to your dreams. Very vivid dreams. But the message for you is definitely to go back to something that's missing or look closer at what is missing. And pay attention to this message that's coming your way the next month ahead. And that will be the message for you. All right, Virgo. So for you, the first thing that came through was very specific. Because there might be something with a fire sign. It might just be for a few of you. But something about um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius who keeps letting you down or who is not who you thought they were. It could be a female, it could be a male, it could be in a relationship, it could be in a friendship, it could even be with a co-worker co -worker or someone you do, that you don't really have anything to do with. But there is definitely a feeling of someone who keeps letting you down. There's mistrust, there is unfaithful Ness, there is a lot of backtalk in a way or just simply someone who keeps telling you that things are going to be good and they promise you a lot of things but then when it comes to it nothing happens so that is the first thing that came through like the wish is not really being fulfilled here and i feel it has something to do with a person so with that being said Let's see. Two of Swords. Definitely a struggle here. Yeah. Is there something about a player? I mean, again, it's interesting we speak about it. And then the cards are just confirming. But there's definitely something you're not really happy about here. Keep going back and forth. For some of you guys, it might also be work-related, where nothing is really working. It doesn't really go as planned. And you refuse to leave it behind. But I feel for you there is something else that's better. Or someone else that's better. Because if it's a person, there's definitely a player energy that I don't like here. If it's someone who is like gossiping, again. I don't think there's any reason to stay. Or to fuel whatever that is. It's very 
specific with the earth I feel. It's a little hard and spot on. But also, well, we do have a Taurus full moon, right? Tomorrow, so. I feel it does affect you in a way. But something is just not as it seems. Something is not good here. Um, uh, discovering a secret or discovering lies, discovering something. There's something you're discovering here. The Hermit. Well, that is your card. That is definitely you. Taking time out to find out, do I want this? Do I want to continue with this person? Or do I want to continue letting someone badmouth me? With the Five of Wands, there's definitely a very competitive energy here. Like, no one is speaking. No one is saying anything. <clears throat> no one is saying anything here. There's something you're longing for. But I, don't, I do feel like you need to take the time out to really realize what that is. So yeah, a secret is being revealed about a person and it might not be what you really wanted to hear. It could be someone who's reaching out to you being like, hey, this person is not good for you. They are talking behind your back. Because there's definitely someone here who is lying. Maybe someone is married, I heard. Someone married who's... Yeah. Hmm. Short journey... It could feel like a short journey with someone. Disappointment in a friend or lover. There you go. I mean, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. I mean, I don't think that this can be any more clear. That someone is leaving your life. It might have felt like a short journey, but there has been a lesson in something here. And it's for the better. Because there's something better waiting for you. There's other options. And I feel like whatever this is, if it is a relationship, it has actually affected your family structure and your friendships. There's been a lot of fighting and a lot of competitive energy in a way. Like you haven't really been able to be yourself in a lot of situations. So just prepare yourself. Take your own card and just really dig deep i am going to take the book for this because it always comes with quotes that are actually pretty badass so for this one be your own taskmaster take yourself seriously take yourself serious if you have a feeling about someone don't just ignore it if someone is telling you that you're not good enough, don't listen to them. Maybe you're actually taking a little trip to get away from everything. And that is really going to be healthy for you. So you should have been thinking about going on a little journey. Yeah. So that you can clear your mind and so that you can see the truth in a situation. Push FOMO to one side and retreat to re reflect. There you go. There you go, Virgo. With that, I will see you guys next month or in the dailies. Good morning, my lovely Capricorn. It is your time to get your reading. When I tap into your energy, it's way more uplifting than it has been for quite some time. And I feel like you got your mojo back. You got your energy back. The message from spirit is that you are moving into big changes and you are ready to embrace your destiny. Saying that while we're hearing a motorcycle outside, maybe it's really nice one. <laughs> Start 
driving motorcycles is like there's something new that you're ready to do something you haven't done before it's exciting and it's scary at the same time i feel like it's a message that you have gotten before but spirit is very proud of you because that you didn't have much time to consider this it's like now and now or never and you said now so you started something out something new so that there is a lot of movement and there is a, a lot of calmness that comes from that so with that let's just see what else we can get for you but there's definitely good news very 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 good news coming your way so capricorn the journey has only begun i heard the tower is the first card do not be worried about it Ooh, the teacher well you know what oh my god you have three major arcanas that is big and then the nine of cups oh we love that look at that <laughs> first of all oh my god the colors are beautiful the tower is the unexpected it's connected with the past so again i feel like you got kind of forced into actually changing up a lot of things in your life there's a lot of parts of your old life that had to crumble and they did big time so you're rebuilding something new you have a lot of people around you who are supporting you i mean the cards are just telling their own story the hierophant it is ruled by taurus and the emperor is ruled by aries so there might be a person with that in that chart who has helped you we also have the knight of cups so there could also be someone with scorpio cancer pisces in that chart but there is definitely either this is you who are stepping into like a leader role or like a teacher in a way where you are teaching or showing your perspective of life to other people what are you teaching is there something about spirituality or something that's connected with newfound power are you building something taking charts that's for sure it's a you know it's interesting because this is a capricorn energy being your own boss you have transformed yourself completely if i look at her because i do see this as you and her like that's a massive transformation right with short hair different style what is it that they say when you take the pants on you're ready to get shit done <laughs> so you are ready to get stuff done now and people are listening like i feel like you have a lot of people who admire you who listen to you who follow you now that we have denied if you're single that might actually be someone who sees what you're doing <laughs> it might be someone who comes in to your life in a wave something you're not expecting which makes sense with the tower so definitely a lot of unexpected situations if you are in a relationship it's definitely someone an energy of trusting your heart trusting your journey which also makes sense because he is on a boat right so trust your journey trust that you are going in the right direction and if you have a call to be a teacher in one way or another doesn't have to be school it can be again through youtube or whatever but you are teaching something you should do it you should definitely something exciting is coming in for you but it might you know again it puts you into a new role which i don't feel like you have been in in a way mm -hmm. the two of pentacles do you are you being prepared to let go of something it's interesting because someone got this and i can't remember who but there's something you're letting go of from the past it can be a physical thing it could be work related it can be people it can be 
emotions, feelings. There's something you're letting go of. Ooh. If you have lost someone recently or the past years, I think that you are actually ready to, or you have ended, let me rephrase that, you have ended the grieving circle where the last part of that is, or the fifth step of the grieving period is like getting hope back. So you have completely transformed something beautiful in your life. And maybe that's what you're teaching people. Healing, definitely. You have a different connection with the universe, with yourself. And you are being begged to go out there and show your true colors with the Four of Wands reversed. It's like you have been sleeping for a while. Now it's time. Time to act. Yeah. Diamond. You will be receiving or giving a precious gift. Ooh. And then we have Rose. Romance is in the air. Again, doesn't have to be love, but... You know, I'm telling you, if you're single, there might be someone better to mango. But romance is beauty. So whatever you're upgrading in your life is what you have been waiting for. It's a very beautiful energy. And as I said, there's something new that you're stepping into. If it's just a passion passion hobby or if it's work related a project it's something that will actually be the biggest journey for you i don't think you're fully aware of it but if you have been going through depression or griefing the loss of someone i feel like you have ended that circle and you're ready to step forward and that shall be the message for you so i will see you guys next month in my daily readings